We're in Seattle, and we're at the uh, Freeway Park. Many cities have adapted this method of landscaping in the inner city. The freeway runs through the city, as we will see with the skyscrapers very shortly, but the many different levels that have been landscaped are incorporated into the park. Freeway Park set a standard, so far as I'm concerned, for what could be done with city streets, city highways. It was dedicated to James Reed. Alice was a civic leader, and they dedicated the park to. Here we see the wonderful skyscrapers not very far. As a matter of fact, almost a part of the freeway parkway itself. And many of those skyscrapers have indoor plantings. So the atmosphere really helps those people in Seattle who truly get too much cloud cover and too much rain. One of the reasons why the hydrangeas grow eight feet tall in the Northwest, it's because of all that rain and cloud cover. So having parks, like the freeway park, as we can see the vehicles going right through the park. And so we have all kinds of life forms within the garden. Truly an oriental perspective. Here we see the Norway spruce and the atlas, blue atlas cedar, two prominent plants in the northwest against the skyline. I particularly love the way the cement is both vertical and horizontal. And you have so many different levels to get from one place to the other, under, around, and over the freeway. And of course, the plantings themselves are all beautifully done. Here we see some viburnum. We're looking at this in the fall, so many of the leaves have already started to turn. And so you have the various, not only textures, but colors. And these plantings is absolutely breathtaking so far as I'm concerned. And of course, these plants are getting quite large in these plantings and the uh, seem to be dwarfed by the skyscrapers but they are truly majestic unto themselves ever in seattle you got to take this walk i spent a good hour walking through this freeway park and it extends from quite a long distance in and around the buildings over the main highways, and of course the planters themselves have a wide variety of plant material. Here we see a holly with its berries, we see junipers, you see a lot of flowering. In the springtime you'll see azaleas and rhododendrons. And of course, as I said, we're looking at this in the fall, so we're getting a lot of various colors. And we're approaching, here we see a little side road going through the park. We're on our way to Convention Place where we had a garden writers convention. Well, some 12 years ago, as a matter of fact. And isn't that beautiful? That little alley uh, to get to that uh, particular building. It's all incorporated in one big garden. Again, I say, you've got to see, I would make a trip to Seattle just to see the freeway park.